I just keep doing this the whole time. <laughs> then your glutes are going to be just incredible. Dude, I, be, I mean, more been, been incredible. More. <laughs> did you, did, wait, did you just look? No. What? Because you can't even see his glutes from... Welcome to the three <laughs> Abyssidarians. <laughs> Somebody say something. <laughs> We are, which one are we doing first? Uh, J. 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 J yep. is for Jordan. Uh, J is for Jezebel. Do we want to do a recap or can, because I mean, there is a lot to cover. Did you and do that? I didn't, no, I know, I you know it's it. been a weird week. I haven't done the recap yet. So we didn't, we don't know what we're going to talk about, but I know what I want to cover. I know. Well, well I know. Well, that's there's, good. You know what? Yeah, there was a lot. I read I'm a lot. That, of, I'm six chapters. Let's just yeah. have the conversation. Knows, Matt knows what he wants to talk and about. Only, and only like Brian three. and I know what we want to talk <laughs> yeah. about, but none of us have talked about. There were only like three <laughs> verses with Jezebel actually in them. I mean, it's not a whole lot. She Are you insane? No, I mean, you, three you, know, you read the whole. You read? you read all this stuff. Like, I read Did all. Did you read of the one where she gets thrown over the? Oh yeah. Her yeah. death. Yeah, Did you well, see yeah. the one where she threatened Elijah and he right. like pooped himself? Yeah. Okay, and yeah. the crazy thing about that though is that was right after. He did the whole altar thing where God rained yeah. fire down from heaven and he killed 400 prophets. But today I want to do something a little different. Okay. I want to, I want to sort Jezebel first. Whoa. Wow. Right. Whoa, the, whoa, the, sort, whoa, whoa. the sorting mat first. I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, and it, there's really no argument here. There's no question. She is a Slytherin. Pure and simple Slytherin. You know, when I was showering this morning, I was like, <laughs> I don't want to hear. I, I don't want to. Like, la, 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 la. He's going to find a way to put her in Ravenclaw. <laughs> That's all I was thinking. Well, no, all right, no, you, you guys don't get Jezebel. I love <laughs> Jezebel. I'm always a fan of the villain. Uh, like, in, in Avengers, I love Thanos. In Batman, I love the Joker. Uh, even in, like, Peter Pan, What's, I thought Captain Hook had a lot going for him. I just love the villain. The villain is so intriguing. I don't know if Thanos really counts as a villain villain, because he didn't uh, have, like, evil intentions. Okay, we'll talk about that oh, later. Um, um, we're going to have to start another movie. YouTube channel just to talk about that. The daughter of a king uh, with no... Options. She had no choice, no say in what happened to her. They married her off to Ahab, the king of the Israelites, to kind of strengthen like their two nations. And she honestly just thought her entire life was going to be subservient, just following around the king, doing whatever was there was to do. Just a boring, lame life. But then she got to know her husband and realized this guy's sort of a wimp. Like I have an opportunity. I have a chance to kind of make a power grab here. I can turn things however I want. And that's precisely what she did. She was so manipulative, and she was so self-focused. She was fantastic. She was not like good fantastic, but like entertaining fantastic. <laughs> like if I were an Israelite way back in the day, I would not have cared much for Queen Jezebel at all. But as um, a, like a privileged white male American, I think she's terrific because she went through and she completely like changed. She she took over their whole culture and like wiped out their religion and forced her own religion on them, which, as a white male American, that's what I'm good at. <laughs> Do you think I'm going to have to cut that out? No. Uh, I think okay, we'll yeah, leave no. it in. So what are our favorite parts about Jezebel? Yeah, I don't really know how we, how we go now, because I'm not used to saying anything after the sorting mat. Yeah, true. I don't know where to this go from here. We're changing it up, man. What's your favorite part of the story? Well, <laughs> you have in the beginning of the story where it's predicted that she's going to be eaten by dogs. And we've right? all had those okay. days. We know Jezebel, but we don't really know what she's fully capable of. Okay. I know she can have babies. You know she can have she babies. She can probably we, cook we and clean. It doesn't say anything about her having babies. Um, true. She did have children. She did have a did children, she? though. Yeah, it's like Jer yeah, Jer Brian, Jer Brian Brian's three Jer Jezebel verses didn't cover <laughs> it's her mother or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, remember. so we know we got this Jezebel, mm -hmm. and then it says that um, you know, she's gonna oppress people, she's gonna be super evil, queen, she all was, that fun. She stuff. was Bellatrix. She was like she, she was, was. Oh. My favorite part of the story is when they predict that the way she is going to die is by being... <laughs> Get out of here, Hello, Penny. 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 Is by being eaten by <laughs> dogs, okay? Mm. Then at the very end of the story, spoiler alert, because you have all of this evil, oppression, killing, murder in the middle of it. Keep Hold that thought. I'm waiting to see if the cat jumps on the light. <laughs> so then you have like all of this killing and oppression in the middle of it, running with Elijah, and then even Elisha gets to experience a mm. little bit of Jezebel, so both prophets. And then at the very end, the way that she dies is... Like her servants, her eunuchs. Servants. Yeah. Um, eunuchs were. Yeah, yeah. Servants. Servants. yeah. I'll anyway, put up a graphic. Throw or her over <laughs> the loft of mm -hmm. the kingdom and she falls to her death. So then uh, the individual, it was Jeru or Jeru. Jer Jer oh, that's going to be. Where are we, who are we looking for? Uh, chapter. The New King. 
The new king of the Israelites. Yeah, That's kings. probably in 2 Kings 9. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, two, I'll two go find nine. it. You okay, so anyway, two, two walks kings inside nine. to the palace, okay? And mm-hmm. just acts like nothing's going on. Yeah. Then people go to, like, make sure that she's dead, like, see where she's at, mm-hmm. all that fun stuff. And all that's left of her is, like, her head, her skull, and her, her, hands. her hands, and... Um, I it, think that was, was it. actually eaten by dogs. Well, that was my favorite part. Her <laughs> being yeah. thrown. Her being thrown in just Jehu, J E H U, just walks inside. Jehu. Like, eh. All right. Yeah. They yep. trampled. Yeah. They trampled her body. Went inside, ate a meal, and said, "Hey, you know what? Why don't we go clean up? Take care of that the mess." Woman. And they're like, "The dogs already did it." You know. Yeah. It's, All right. Yeah. She All was right. the king's daughter. What was your favorite Brian. part, Brian? My favorite part didn't really have anything to do with Jezebel. It was in the middle of all of this stuff because I, I mean, because there were only three verses with yeah, Jezebel, yeah. so there's a lot of other stuff False. going on in here besides Jezebel. My favorite part was when one of the kings is threatening another king, mm-hmm. and the other king's response is, "One who puts on his armor should not boast like one who takes it off." Mm-hmm. That's a great line. Yeah, don't 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 brag about the war until you've won it. Right. The other thing, one of the things that was confusing to me was Elijah. Right after, so. Elijah has this contest with all the prophets of Baal or Baal yeah, who, or whatever they are. Who were sort of Jezebel. They, they were Her given power to, right. because Jezebel said, hey, I want you guys. Because yeah, yeah, she was serving so Baal. Yes. So they were her kind of people. They were her folks. Stuff. Right. So Elijah comes in and he defies these 400 prophets. He builds this altar. He makes fun of them all day long saying, wait, why can't your God burn up that altar? Yeah. And then Shout he, louder. Maybe he's taking right, a Maybe he's, he's in the bathroom. Maybe he's, maybe, yeah. Yeah. maybe he's in the bathroom with Elud. E- 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 Eglon. Eglon. Whatever that guy's name is. He doesn't is. watch this channel. channel. Whatever. Also a Ravenclaw. Uh, <laughs> fat Ravenclaw. <laughs> fat Ravenclaw. <laughs> Give it so, time. You'll be there. So then Elijah, he does it with, with 400 prophets. And you got to think Jezebel was somewhere around for that part, right? Because he's defying all these prophets of Baal. So then he, you know, dumps water on the altar, God burns it up, all this kind of stuff, right? And then he goes out and kills all these 400 prophets. Mm-hmm. And then Jezebel gets mad about it and makes this threat. And Elijah goes running. Yeah, she like, scares seriously? him. Like, how is that scary? You just, you just like, That's defied 400 people, 400 prophets. Right. The prophets had power, too, in that yeah. day, in the culture. Mm-hmm. You defy these 400 prophets. God, like, rained fire down from heaven and burned up this altar that you had just soaked with water. Yeah. And now you're afraid... I would have expected him to kind of defy her. Exactly. And say, but that is a testament to how purely evil she was, how terrifying she was. Her reputation for causing pain and discord right. was, uh, it, it, I mean, it, yeah. You know, he, he was like, yeah, I know God's on my side, but um, he told me specifically to do those things, and I'm not going to turn against God. But he didn't specifically tell me he was going to protect me from Jezebel. Um, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a little I'm gonna take a hiatus a sabbatical mm-hmm. if you will um, and I'm sabbatical. getting I'm getting out of here <laughs> I'm gonna go some one of my one of my congregants has a lake cottage they've offered me so <laughs> I don't want to tell you where it is so uh, sabbatical yeah. for those that aren't aware a sabbatical is when a pastor just takes a long break I have a modern well, can, can I say my favorite part. Oh, I thought that. No, you did the sorting. See, this is it's confusing. I you were trying to talk because you already today. talked. So I want to do my no. favorite part. All right, this well, is very brief. This right, is just at the part. end uh, when she sees Jehu coming in oh, to the yeah. city after he has taken power, the new king, and she knows I'm not going to survive today. This is it. This is the last. This is it. This is the end of the book for Jezebel. So instead of like whimpering and whining and like dressing in sackcloth and you know shaving her head and you know. Showing remorse and oh boo hoo hoo when you know everyone knows she doesn't feel bad about what she did. She knew it was going to end this way. Um, she puts on her absolute finest clothes. She has her makeup done. She basically just full diva. Oh, just as glorious, as divinely beautiful as she can make herself. And she stood in that high window to say, "I'm going out the same way I lived. Do what you're going to do." I love that. I love that moment of defiance of like, what other choice did I have? What other life could I have lived? I lived the best life that was presented to me. I'm not going to lay down and be somebody's lackey. No, I took the opportunities that were presented to me and now I'm going to pay the price. I knew what the, what, what? I'm sorry. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. Why? Because you feel like I'm making this up? I have no idea. False. I love it. I just, I love (laughs) it. Her, like she was defiant to the end. She was true to herself, and I, I, I love that. It is amazing that you turned out the way you did. <laughs> <laughs> the modern context. I, I've got two. Oh yes. great, because okay. I have zero. Okay, one, <laughs> one is a very good. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna spin it. Let's okay. do it. Let's, let's, let's. Hear mean it. Girls. Okay. The movie. I've not seen it. Then you can't movie. disagree. Yeah. 
That's okay, true. so I will, but I... Mean <laughs> Girls is your typical high school girl stereotypical story. Where you've got the popular crowd, you've got the jocks, you've got the nerds, you've got the emo, all this stuff, okay? And it just shares about three girls, four girls, uh, eventually, who come in and are just terrible to everybody. Oh, don't spoil it. I kind of want to see it now. <laughs> oh, it's a classic. <sighs> you haven't seen Mean Girls. I know. Girls, it's so called like... Mean Girls. I figured there were some in the movie. Okay. So, that there you got that. Okay, just terrible to everybody. At mm. the end of the movie, though, they get overthrown, all that mm. fun stuff, okay? Second one, and it, you're going to have to help me out here because okay. my Lord of the Rings is a little bit oh, okay. sloppy. Oh, okay. It's either Sauron or Saruman. Okay. Whichever one at the... Sauron the, was the eye. Saruman okay. was the... Saruman was Christopher Lee. Lee. going away. He, okay. Yeah. Um, comes into power. Mm -hmm. Just starts killing everything. Just, okay. Okay. Sells out everything he okay. once stood for. And then in the bonus, in the extended version, mm -hmm. in uh, the third movie, The Return right. of the King falls to his death mm -hmm. just like Jezebel mm -hmm. does and mm -hmm. gets Blah. yeah right yeah. in a pike interesting so those are my two modern contexts right yeah I think that's a good that's a that's a good modern context cool. oh one yeah. of my other that's one of my other favorite parts in here that has nothing to do with Jezebel again was oh. one of the prophets at one point a prophet goes it's after a battle and the prophet goes to somebody and says you gotta strike me with your sword like wound me and the guy's like no I'm not gonna do that to you you're a prophet and the guy, the guy says as soon as you leave me you're gonna get eaten by lions and the I guy, wonder what happened. The guy, the guy walks away and gets attacked by lions and killed. And so then he goes to another guy and says, you got to strike me. Because he wanted to be look wounded to go talk to the king. So he doesn't. Yeah. I mean, I don't, yeah. the rest of the story I'm not interested in. We all have very evil it's, favorite parts. We, very <laughs> interesting. That they, well, there are very few happy parts with Jezebel's story. That's what makes it so good. Oh, I love it. Hmm. Okay. Does anybody know who the Sidonians were? Sidonians? Because she was the... What? Daughter of the king. Well, she was the daughter of the king of the Sidonians. Of Sidon. Like you just make up words. No, it's, I have it in my notes, which I guess I could have just made that up.